All right, so before we dive right in, there's a couple things you need to think about. One, the size of the aerator can be an issue. We're dealing with a standard size spring flow, and I'm not gonna get into the sizing, but this will handle probably 90 to 95% of the faucets. Okay, so let me show you what we're gonna be using today. Number one, we're gonna use a standard type of channel locks. This is just a simple tool that we use. I'm using a very small one because you're not gonna use a lot of force. We're not trying to, to destroy the faucet. And then we're gonna use, like I said, the standard spring flow aerator that fits most faucets, all right? All right, so let's locate the aerator on the faucet. Now, every faucet has one and they're always located where the water comes out. Now on this faucet, it's got a pull out spray. I can physically show it to you, it's right here in the middle. All right, but if you're on your own faucet, you can just turn the water on and where the water comes out is where the aerator is. All right, so we know it's right in the middle. All right, well, let's get to it. Counterclockwise, grab your pliers. We're gonna go from right to left to loosen. And we're just gonna go just a little bit so that we can take it off with our fingers. We don't wanna force it. it doesn't have to be a lot of pressure. If you're putting a lot of pressure, you might do damage to your faucet. Stop, give us a call. All right, we're grabbing the edge of the aerator very lightly, and we're just gonna give it about a quarter turn. Once we've done that, it's loose. We can just twist it off with our fingers. We're good to go. Now this one has a lot of debris in it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's good that we're replacing this one. It's very simple. Take the new one. You're just gonna reverse what you just did. You're going to put it in, you're going to twist it clockwise to where it's hand tight, and then you're going to grab your pliers, going from left to right now, and that's it. Good flow, good to go. Just one quick tip, if you're like me, you tend to drop things a little bit. If you take a couple of paper towels, lay them over the drain, when you drop it, it doesn't go down the drain, it just catches it right there. All right, that's it for today. I'm Andy with Andy's Pipe Dream. You can reach us on the web at andyspipedream.com and thanks for stopping by.